A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And a big opportunity on hand for Liverpool to stamp their ticket for the Champions League knockout phase. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Liverpool. Well, Liverpool find themselves in the position where if all goes well tonight, they'll confirm their place in the Champions League knockout stages. And you have to say they will have deserved it. They're in good form, they're a good team and very, very well organised. Saint-Germain and they are a team Lee known for their aggressive high pressing well absolutely that takes a lot of hard work a lot of organization force the opposition to make early passes the weakness of it if you beat the high press you can get exposed at the back I have to say, whenever I come here to the Parc des Princes, I'm reminded of 1981 and Alan Kennedy's dramatic winner for Liverpool in the European Cup final against Real Madrid. Yeah, full-backs union. You don't see him up in that area of the pitch very often, but what a goal that was. Created a brilliant atmosphere at the end of that game. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Di Maria keeps going. Angel Di Maria has lost the ball. Mbappe, tremendous block, corner awarded to PSG, corner kick played in, didn't quite go to plan. Clattered away. Ronaldo now. He might be able to make it through. And the goal gaping at him. And the goal has been scored by Mohamed Salah. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. Keeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Heading some Cavani now. And it's Cavani. Well, his opponent bamboozled. And Neymar. The fans imploring him to fire it towards goal. It's gone in! A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up.
Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. On well, a bit more analysis as regards the goal. Good tackle. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Nothing wrong with that idea. Now the task is to remain focused. The goal from Salah. It's strange when he doesn't score these days. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? Teammate in support. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. <laughs> Useful looking ball. A magnificent save to keep the game level. And so that is going to be that, the final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group league. Yeah, absolutely. Going through takes the pressure off a little bit, but the big teams, the good teams, the good players press on and finish top. So positivity envelops Mo Salah, not for the first time either. Lee, your verdict. Well, he's played so well today and got the goals as well, but those goals have only got his team a draw. He'd be looking over his shoulder at his defenders and saying, I'll get the goals and you just keep them out. Not the case today.